Hey guys, making this really quick video showing you this. So if you go into settings, if you guys keep getting this message where it says iPhone backup failed. Same thing if you guys have an iPhone, iPad, iPod touch, same message, same fix. So the very first thing you guys should do is hook it up to your computer and use iTunes in order to make that backup. That way you don't have to pay for iCloud and that way it will be technically unlimited. And if you guys have a Mac, for example, you can use Finder in order to do that. So remember, if you're having problems backing up, just use your computer to back it up. I would not pay or recommend using iCloud because it tends to fill up way too fast. So you might think it's very cheap. So if I click on iPhone backup failed, this will pop up. Now, yes, 1.29 a month sounds really cheap, right? Well, for most people that I hear that send me comments, well, once they do that, right away it gets full and it takes you up to the next thing, which is $4 a month and so on. So if you keep scrolling down, for most of you, you're gonna end up at $13 a month. That being said, some of you are good at keeping your stuff clean and that way you can always keep it at 50 gigs. However, this is not the fix. Part of the fix is just to do it through your computer. That way you don't have to look at this. Another way to just clean this up is go right into your iCloud. So on the top, you will see your device's name or your own name. So let's just click right there. Once we're here, we can just scroll down until we see iCloud. So just go into iCloud. That would be your fifth option. From iCloud, you're gonna see what's going on and what's taking up a lot of stuff. So right now, as you can see, my messages are taking up a lot. That way I can just clean those up. It's usually because I send videos or pictures through my messages. So that way, that gets all stored on my iCloud and that's no good. There's no reason for me to keep those videos on my messages. So what I'm gonna do is just manage storage, which is my first option up here. And I'm gonna see what's taking up everything. So my backup, that's fine. It's 2.4 gigs, perfect. If I keep scrolling down, I'm gonna see things that maybe I don't wanna back up in iCloud. There's no need for those. So I can turn any one of these off or just delete them. At this point in time, what I know is that my messages is big just because I send a lot of videos. So I'm gonna click on my messages and I can go ahead and disable and delete. Now, some of you may want those messages to be backed up on your iCloud, which is fine, but there's those videos and messages, right? So let's just click on messages, top cons conversations. And within these top conversations, I can delete the ones that I really know that I can. So on the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna see edit, click on edit. Once you tap on edit, you can select any of these conversations or a lot of these conversations to just delete. So let's say I want to just delete this one down here below. I can click on it. Then on the top right hand side, I'm going to see that garbage bin and it's going to delete that conversation. As of now, I'm just going to go back. So on the top left hand side, I'm going to see messages, click on messages, and we're just going to keep going back. Once you keep going back, you're going to get back here. And this is the part where you guys can clean up a little bit more. So at this point, for example, if I scroll down, maybe I don't want my sketchbook pro to be under my cloud. So I can just click on it. And then what I can do also, so I can look at all the files that it has and that's why it's taking up so much space. I'm just gonna delete documents and data because I know that that's not important in my cloud. It's not deleting from the app itself. It's just that backup on iCloud. Once you do that, just let it run. It does take a bit to refresh. I can just go back for now. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It does take some time to do that. So unfortunately, this does take quite a bit for it to refresh, so don't worry about it. Just be patient, let it do its thing. For now, what I'm gonna do is just go back into my messages and I'm gonna disable and delete. So if I go back, everything should be refreshing. I can also go into my backups. I'm gonna go right into my backups. And what I want is the latest backup of my phone. I don't care really about the older backups. It's the current one that I want. So I'm gonna click on this one. I'm just gonna delete this backup. So don't worry if it says turning off backup. You can just turn it back on. So let's just go back. And what we're gonna do is just let it refresh. It takes a while, it's glitchy, it's not perfect. This is a problem with Apple and that's why I don't like iCloud storage. However, obviously it's good to have it turned on and do this refreshing and clean up every once in a while. Now, if we go back, we're gonna see this iCloud storage. Finally, we have a lot. There's also stuff down here below. So if I can scroll down, that I can turn off. For example, you may not need an iCloud backup of Safari. 
if you guys don't care about backing up uh, your history of Safari on your iCloud, don't do it. There's no need to. A lot of people use Chrome. Chrome just keeps it there. There's no need to back it up on anywhere. It's just gonna back it up on your Google account. Same goes with reminders, notes. You guys can turn off any one of these. To turn off any one of these guys right here. So for example, I'm gonna turn off my home. And there we go. It's just not gonna take that space anymore on my iCloud. So if I keep scrolling down, I'm gonna see more and more stuff that's being backed up. And yes, some of it, I don't really care that's being backed up on iCloud because I know it's being backed up somewhere else, such as Adobe. I know it's being backed up somewhere else, so why have a double backup of it? Uh, Dataman, well, we'll keep that on right now. And then everything else, I guess we could keep it on. What's up? It's pretty sad that we have to back it up on iCloud. But anyways, I'm gonna scroll up. And right now you're gonna see down here, it says iCloud backup off. At this point, we have to tap right there and we're gonna turn it on and click on backup now. This for me is essential. I do not back up my pictures on, or, or videos, anything that I take on my iPhone itself. So that's a problem that I no longer have. So that's why I get this message. I'm just gonna click on continue. And I'm gonna show you why I don't have that problem of backing up my photos and videos. So now it's backing up. I'm just gonna hit out of this thing. And here's Google Photos. So this see this app up here, Google Photos. That doesn't mean somebody can go, a random person go into their web browser such as Chrome and look through your photos. No, it's just called Google Photos. It's an app, it's a backup, it's free, and it's for you guys. There is a paid version which keeps, for example, videos at 4K resolution. The free version only takes up to 1080p, which is really good resolution. Most of you will just want that anyways. Other than that, pictures, it takes really high res as a backup and it works really well. I do have a separate video showing you guys how Google Photo works, how to back it up and all that, but essentially you just have to go into Google Photos, you just download the app, and then everything gets backed up here. What I mean by everything is your videos and pictures. And then you can just delete them from your phone, so they will no longer be in your phone on your iCloud, and they're only gonna be stored right here on Google Photos that only you can view using your own Google account. Anyways, right now I'm gonna go right into photos. I'm gonna make sure they're not turned on. So iCloud photos, those I have turned off. Like I mentioned, I only use Google photos in order to back them up. There's a shared album, I have that turned on. My photo stream, sure, I have that turned on because I know that doesn't take space on my iCloud, so that's fine. So that's how you guys can turn off photos from being backed up on your iCloud and taking a bunch of space. Anyways, as of now, I'm just gonna wait for this to back up. There's quite a bit of information, and that would be it for this video. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.